Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about selling out in the YouTube community, how it happened and what it was like before and compared to what it is today. Now, Tolarian Community College made a video where pretty much he said he is not a sellout. I'll have a more in detailed response to that particular video. But I wanted to address the first time I saw this in the community was with the monthly magic box. Now the monthly magic box was a scam. There's no other way to say it. They did not ship boxes to the people who paid. They only shipped them to promoters. Most people did not receive their boxes on time. And towards the end, many people were charged and they are still charged today. The During the four month period, the guy was operating from jail. So that's all you need to really know about the monthly magic box. Of course, operating from jail made it harder for him to buy crappy product to sell. The channel I'm going to focus on is Rocks and Box in 90. I'll be quite honest, I didn't like him, he didn't like me and I figured I could do this for Tolarian, I can do this for Wedge, I can do it for many other individuals in our community. Some of them have gotten bigger, some of them have not. But I decided to do it for the, the person who, in my opinion, gave the most inaccurate prices. Problem one with the monthly magic box, they knew it was a scam. Uh, they knew from the very get-go it was a scam because even from the first video, which I'll show you, and you can check on Tolarian too, people were telling them they were not receiving their boxes. So you, subscriber, watched a video from your favorite YouTuber telling you to buy this box. Okay, cool. Second favorite YouTuber. Oh, they also told me to buy this box. At this time, 90% of the YouTubers over 1,000 subscribers was promoting this product, including the Mana Source, including Tolarian Community College, and obviously Rocks and Boxing as well. I can go on and on, but everyone was promoting this product. So for you, the ordinary subscriber or YouTube watcher, you might be like, wow, this product is fire. Jeez, look at this. Now, not, not a single one of them told you they received the product for free. So forget the sourcing thing. Forget the fact this was run out of a jail. Not a single person, not one, told you they received this product for free. Now, how does that influence whether or not someone likes it? If I give you something for free, even if you hate it, you will have a more positive feeling about it than if you had to buy it. Now, if I bought something, if I bought this, I would be pissed. But if I received it for free and it's just a few booster packs that I care about, ah, who cares? So, um, you have all the YouTubers promoting the same crappy content. And did they know it was crappy? Yes, they did. I made them a... So the person purchased all their play mats, all their sleeves and booster packs from a website I used at the time and I still use today, Dave and Adams. These things you can still purchase today because they're so crappy. No one wants them. They are heavily discounted items. The reason they are discounted, so for instance, the MSRP of the binder, the binder in question was supposedly $20, but the actual price on Dave and Adams was $2.09. I told uh, the community in the Facebook group and they told me to blank up. No, that's not what they told me. <laughs> but nonetheless, everyone ignored it. They received emails. They received um, comments. They received all types of things. Tweets telling them that this is a scam and they really don't want you to promote it. So let's take a look at this product. That binder, I mean, look at this binder. It's less than $2. The deck box, you can still probably buy Dave Adams for like 50 cents. There's a land pack and it's just overall, it's almost like the guy was 
went to jail for other similar scams that he had run before. Wait, it is. Now, of course, I told the, the group, and half the group kind of decided not to sponsor, not to promote the product anymore. The other half kept going. And Rocks and Boxing is the one that kept going. It is a bunch of clearance items. The deck boxes are terrible. Uh, but people are saying, you know, I subscribed to them at the beginning of this month. I can't wait for the first box. It's bad times. And here is my biggest divide of me in the community. The entire community was promoting this product that they knew was a scam. I went against the grain. Now this would be more important later with PicoTrade. And I can talk all the crap I want about PicoTrade now because there's no Tolarian telling me not to. There's no Weds defending PicoTrade. And yes, I have tweets about them in PicoTrade, just like I have tweets about what they felt about Donald Trump and what they currently feel about Donald Trump. All of this stuff, they're too lazy to delete. So, but they did delete the monthly magic box. So that should tell you, that should tell you about how bad this particular scam was. And they did unlist Pico Trade. So you had people just inflating the price of this box. They were like, oh, so the actual box probably had $5 in materials, which is mainly just the boost packs. Rocks and Boxes is saying that this box is worth 40 bucks. The binder is 20, this is another five. Why are the prices so high? If you had to pay $20 for that skeleton binder, would you do that, Rocks and Boxing? And he told me, yes. So we had a conversation as a group, but then also as individuals. And what I learned was for just the lowly price of a box of crap, you can buy any YouTuber at the time you want it. Now, of course, some YouTubers are more expensive now, Tolarian and Weds. They want plane tickets, stipends, hotel, all this stuff. Buffets. One of them really loves buffets, I'm pretty sure. Um, Las Vegas buffets are excellent, by the way. There's, I'm not discriminating against buffets. I myself love buffets. So back to my point. I have been having nothing but issues with these guys. My wife got the six month subscription and I've only got two boxes. We were told she subbed too late in July and we were receiving our first in August. After receiving the first, they never received again. So glad I canceled. I made it a point to spend my $25 this month on singles. Such a horrible company. True, this stuff is garbage. <laughs> the sheep, right? The little sheep running around buying whatever products the content creator told them to buy, which was sponsored by Card Kingdom. Hmm, I wonder why, you know, this Challenger deck is really awesome for casual players. Mon monthly Magic Buck. A Pico Trade is, was a far more worse disaster. Either the community cannot do simple math, or they chose to ignore the fact that it is a Ponzi scheme. How do the points get created? How does Tolarian Community College get 50 million points? It's called inflation, right? So it's, he gets points from Puka and the mana source get points from Puka by devaluing every single other point in Puka. And of course there's posts and I could go on and on, but I just wanted to show you the deterioration, how someone sells out isn't a uh, a simple oh they sold out to this company it's kind of most i was listening to a podcast i'm not going to announce his name because he, i'm sure he doesn't want to be connected to me but i do enjoy his podcast he spends the first five minutes of his pike podcast like with sponsorships and the podcast is like half an hour it's like and then he sp spends the last like few minutes promoting himself again and it's like Man, what's going on here? Like, obviously he has sponsors. Um, it's one person if you care. You can probably narrow down the uh, podcast. And I don't know. We just are commercialized out of the wazoo. 
everyone sponsored by everyone else, everyone sponsored by their subscribers. Like, I'm not really sponsored by you guys, um, so I talk about issues I want. If I want to do Fire Emblem gambling, I, but, okay, so I I went to see Gambling Council on Saturday, which actually is next to the poker room in Humble. Like, it's really strange, right? Why is a gambling place right next to the poker place? But anyway. But if I want to make, like, a Pokemon video, yeah, I, I will do that. Because the point of this channel is just to have fun. And if I'm not having fun, I'm not going to make the videos anymore. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I've never been sponsored by anyone. Uh, I, occasionally, I receive free products. But I tell you up front that I received this for product for free. Uh, now, I don't get money. I don't get any money from the most of the products. And even when I was offered money from like Amino Apps, Card Spare, you know, Card Spare, like those guys are kind of crazy. I'm not going to go into them because they just, I know a lot of you want me to make a video on it. I'll wait. I will wait on something, a certain something because they are, you know, they don't like me. I don't like them. So the people and they promote themselves in a marketing way that I don't think is going to help them long term but we will see I mean the problem I have with that is the same people who are promoting Puka Trade are promoting card spare now and you know same MTG finance names the same users they just translated in and my question is would you want to be in a room full of sharks no that's not for me I don't trade online I don't sell, trade, or whatever online, so I'm not going to promote a product even if they offer me, quote, $100 in trade credit or something like that to, quote, test it out. <laughs> the $100 isn't worth my time to make a video on it. Anyway, bye guys.